Good morning, Steve. You're live on ICV2. Here's your first question. How do you feel about leaving Snake Rock? Oh, we're delighted. Oh, it was a hellhole. But also, we've got a soft spot for it because, um, you yeah, know, we've, we've come to love it. Um, but it would be nice to not sleep on a slope and it would be nice to have a bit of space around the camp. As a snooker legend, will the art of patience and tactical thinking be an advantage for you? I don't think so. Uh, I haven't got a clue what help I'm going to be as a snooker player. Um, the only thing I know about is level, balls and sticks. That's why I've gone in the wood department. But obviously Lucy's helping me now. But wood, that's my game. If you could pot any of the celebrities into a dark hole full of bugs, who <laughs> oh, would it be? For what reason? Um, OK, if I, well, if, if I could dip one in now, who am I not getting on with? Absolutely nobody. This bunch are, I think, probably as good a bunch of characters as ever been. At the moment, we, nobody's getting on each other's nerves. I don't know how the cracks are going to appear. I know they probably will, but I'm not sure how it's going to happen. There is nobody at the moment. We're all sort of... We're all united. If you had to, pick a name. <laughs> no! I'm not... Um, uh, me. <laughs> Having done the Clash of the Camps challenge, how do you feel about taking on a trial? Um, I have no problems with taking on a trial because I won't be taking on a trial. Joey's taking on all the trials. We know it, he knows it, everybody else knows it. He's doing all of them. We can just relax, sunbathe, have a dip in the pool and just chat. What sort of trial would you like to do if you had to? What sort of trial would I like to do if I had to? It doesn't matter. I'm not doing one. It's fantastic. I don't really want to do any trials, but the chances of me doing one now are minimal. It's marvellous. It's just a little holiday. What's your plan for coping with jungle life? Go with the flow, be a team member, do a bit of exercise, stay alert, don't lie down too long, have a great laugh, and hopefully, somewhere down the line, get a nice luxury hotel with some beautiful food. <laughs> These beans and rice, honestly, I'm never eating a bit of rice or beans again. How would you describe your relationship with Joey? I love Joey. He's, he's a sort of like a total opposite kindred spirit of Essex boys. And I've you, it's been great company. He's superb. He's got a different outlook on things and it's refreshing. The relationship between Joey and Amy seems to be showing a few sparks. As a fellow camper, what are your views? Well, obviously, yeah, I mean, like, you know, we've been there, Becky and I and Mo, we've been sitting there watching, seeing how it's sort of, it's unfolding. Uh, the beds quite quickly got close together. Joey said it was because his position wasn't that good, obviously. Uh, it seems that they go to the pool together. Um, they do some washing up together. Uh, not as successfully as Becky and myself have done washing up. But even so, they are doing more and more things together. They're gelling uh, and it's nice to watch it happen. Um, whether it's going to go the full distance, I don't know. But it's, you know, it's incredible to watch it happen. Thank you, Steve. Oh, I love Steve. Oh.